Hi, boys and girls. We're doing three pages in our Journeys Reader's Notebook, Grade 1, Volume 2, Reader, or Practice Book, I should say, and we are in the Lesson 20 section. We'll be doing pages 62, 63, and 64 today. So we're going to start with compound words. Compound words are two words that make that when you squish them together, turn into one word. So I'm going to show you some examples. Okay, so here's two words. P, nut. You squish them together, and now they say peanut. And here's a little picture of a peanut. So since that one just happens to be on here, let's go ahead and do that one right now. The two words in peanut are P and nut. So let's circle them on here. P and nut. Let's write down P first. We're going to make it look like this, okay? So they're both, no space between them. P and nut. No finger space. It's a compound word. Peanut. Peanut. Okay, I think we get the idea. I don't think I have to show you any more. So let's go ahead, and this is a rainbow. So we have to find two words. One is rain, one is bow. So trail, no, rain. Yes, this is one of them. Rain, bow, bow. Let's write rainbow. We're going to write those two words with zero space between them. Rain, bow. Just a few little molecules, but no finger space. Rainbow, that's a compound word, a compound word. So this is a seashell. Let's see if we can find the two words sea and shell. Blue, sea. Oh, that was one of our spelling words. Um, bird, shell, seashell. Circle C, circle shell. When we write them, no space between them. It's a compound word. C -sh -l. Seashell. You did it right if, if you put them right next to one another. Okay, this is a snowflake. So we're going to find two words. One is snow, one is flake. Snow. Snow, oops, that was a W that I just crossed out. Mail, that's not a snow mail. Snow box, snow flake, flake. So we're going to write the word snowflake. Snow, no finger space. Flake, and then there's a silent E. Snowflake. We made two words into one word, and when we did, it turned into a compound word, snowflake. Here's a cupcake. We've got to find the word that says cup and the word that says cake. Cup is right here. Cup. There's cake right there. Cake. Cupcake. Let's write that down. Up cake a okay, you have to stick them together to make a compound word cupcake. And I notice each of these have like two syllables like peanut, rainbow. Not every compound word is like that, but seashell, snowflake, cupcake. They have Two symbols, syllables each, two beats each. Okay, we're going to do our practice our words to know, and then we're going to do this page. Let's read them. Door. Why do we have to know these? They're in our text, they're in all our stories, and especially they're on our test on Friday. Wash. Everyone has to wash their hands before dinner. Old, old. My 
My socks are old. They have a hole in them. More. Can I have some more ice cream? Want. I want a puppy. Want. Mother. Mother. Has the word the in it. Mother. Mother. Oh, that E's going to make the U say its name, huh? Use. Use. May I use your markers? Try. We're here, so we might as well try our best. And that's that. Okay, let's go ahead and circle the best answers for each question. Here's our first question. I think I'll make this go a little bit higher for you. So... This is page 63, by the way, 63. Okay, what word goes with less? More or use? I would say more because less and more are opposite words, so they have an association with one another. Less, more. What word goes with dry? Door or wash? I would say wash, because wash and dry are opposite words. Are you going to wash their clothes or dry your clothes? What word goes with open? Want or door? I think door, because you open a door. You also close it. Okay, what wor word goes with father? Mother or more? Mother. Father and mother are parents to a child. What word goes with new? Old or wash? I would say old because old is an opposite word. It's opposite of new. What word goes with need? Wash or want? Need and want are opposite words. Like I need food, but like I want to travel the world. Like one I need, the other one I just want. I wish I had, but I don't need it to survive. What word goes with test? More or try? I would think try. If you try hard, you might pass the test. Try. There's an effort that goes with developing skills. You have to try. When you make that effort, you try. What word goes with tools? Use or mother? We use tools, so I think that's the word. So let's just read all those words one more time. Ready? More. Wash. Door. Are you reading these? Mother. Old. Want. Try. Use. Those are our eight words that we have to know for our test on Friday. Okay, we get to work on some compound words some more. So I just love these right here to show kids about compound words. This says haystack. It's made of two words. What two words? Hay and stack. Is that what you were going to tell me? Haystack. Okay. Skateboard. Which two words is skateboard made from? Let's spread them out. Skate and board. Skate, and then it's together it's skateboard. And there's a skateboard. Here's one. This is popcorn. Which two words make up popcorn? Pop and corn. Popcorn. And here's the popcorn. Two more. Which two words make up headphone? 
head and phone. Headphone. These are some headphones. Okay, and then finally, which two words make beehive? Bee and hive. Beehive. It's a home for bees. Okay, well, that's that exercise. And on this exercise, we're going to be putting two words together and making them into a compound word. So I'll do the first one for you. This is a sailboat. So this one says sail, and this one says boat. And I'm going to write sailboat. Now, choosing those two to make my compound word, sailboat. No spaces, no finger spaces between sail and boat. Okay, sailboat. See, this is a mailbox. So we've got to find the word that says mail, then the word that says box. Mail. That's it, because that's the only one that begins with an M. Mail. Box. B, 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 b. Box. Bow. A mail box. Okay, so these two go together. So let's write those two down. Mail. Box. No finger spaces between them. Mailbox. We made a compound word. Okay, next is a rainbow. Rain. That says row. This says rain. None of these start with R, so it's this one. Rain. Rain. Bow. Here's the word that says bow. Right there. Bow. So let's go ahead and circle it and put a little rainbow. So, rain b o rainbow. It's a compound word. This is a rowboat. So, that says row. Hey, we have to reuse boat because there none, these two don't say boat. So, we're going to we already did sailboat. Now we're going to do rowboat. It's a compound word. Row bow rowboat. Okay. Well, this is a raincoat. We already used the word rain. And now we have to match it to coat. And you're, well actually if I move it down a little bit like this, yeah, you'll be able to see it. So we're doing rain coat. Got that? Rain coat. Rain coat. Rain coat. And finally, we have sandbox. We already have the word sand. And we're going to stick it with the word box. Oh, sandbox. We're going to make one word. Used to be two words, but then we squished them together to make one word. Sandbox. Usually words have finger spaces between them. And because these two words don't, they're one word. Sandbox. All right, boys and girls, that's it for your uh, reader's notebook for today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for learning. I hope you did learn something. Bye-bye.